Hello guys, this is your boy Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. I really appreciate your coming back. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Today we are going to do something different from the usual design we normally do. So then what we are going to do today, we are going to learn how to design an Instagram carousel. So before any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here is my Canva background area. So what we are going to do now, we are going to go into file, then you select new. Then in this place, I'm going to change it to pixels. Then I'm going to enter 10800. Then by 1350. Then your resolution, it depends the system capacity and the speed. So you can reduce it to 150, 100 or 75. Then I click on great. It will take you here. Now we are going to set up our guideline. So then zoom in so that you can see how the guideline is going to affect your background area okay now you can see here there is 10 then and i'm going to input 100 here in the rows i'm going to put two here then why this place i'm going to put 1080 1080 is an instagram and uh, square number so then this place now this margin i'm going to enter 50 50 50 50 so as I'm entering it, then you will see the changes that apply to the guideline. Then as you see now, then I'll click on OK. Then go back again to your guideline. Then I'm going to turn off the rows and the margin. Then I'm going to turn off this one. Then I click OK, leaving that 10 alone. Then you will see the changes again. Then I'm going to now lock the guideline. So this is where my resources, I keep the resources I'm going to use. So all these resources has already been arranged. Then crop and uh, the background has already been removed. So because of time, if I say I will do all those one while doing the design, it's going to take a lot of time. So that is why I remove the background then arrange it. So you see, I'm going to fill it with back. okay so let's concentrate so here i'm trying to create a background color that will suit the design i think this one is okay but let me see let us see how it's going to be at the end because i will prefer something either like white maybe not that much white but i would like to prefer something white so now let's start like this so this i'm also my test all the test has been arranged then i'm going to apply a red color here i think the red color is more better no this one this one is good but let's keep on going either if i will change it or not So, I'm not going to change some color, but I want you to notice that in a design like this, there are some key points of test that you may need to be turned to you, that may need you to change the color because of the letter of the word, it may be important. But I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. So let's continue if there is any need of for me to change any color or that is the keyword column then i'm going to do that but not all so that we will not spend too much of time looking into that then you position it using your guideline then you bring this one then select your test to then 
then expand it why i'm turning them on and off because i don't want to miss up the test or the images especially the test i don't want to miss them up so that is why anyone i want to make use of it then i'll turn that one on so when i'm done with that one then i'll turn it off so that the test will not miss up because when the test miss off it's going to get you confused Then I'm going to arrange this one then because I'm going to bring this guy with camera. I'm going to flip it back to this side because that side is look more better than the area I position it. Okay, as you can see, this side look more better because that is the normal position of the image. then flip, flip it back to the right then you drag back your test use the guideline then why you change this one to red Now continue again to the other step. So this test now, I'm going to turn it off, then turn this one on. So now that I turn this one on, I know that this is, this is the one I'm going to use now. And I'm doing it immediately so that it will not get me confused. Then I will bring this image so I position it right here. Also color this one. So these are the key letter I'm talking about. So you may grade something like this, then apply a color to the key letters. So, but you are not going to go through the letters and apply colors so not all is necessary So as you can see, I'm a little bit fast because this one is not the most important one now. The most important one is the beginning and the end. So keep watching to the end. You can see this place now require a white background but there is no way i'm going to apply a white background here while the rest will be in the same color so what i'm going to do i'm going to select use my selection tool then i'm going to select this white background
okay so now that we are done i'm going to position the test and the image to where the image is supposed to be then apply layer mask so after apply layer mask now you can see so what i'll do is to hold my control and press i to invert it so you can see it's okay now you can see there is a miss up there now which i'm trying to arrange properly because if i position my layer or my mask somewhere and i import my test or my image then that test or image will now locate at that position so if we are doing it remember to take note where your mouse is positioned or the layer you are before you do it so that everything will be serial if you want to do correction you can you will know the area you are going for correction or adjustment so that you will not be looking looking finding it up and down and i'll turn this one off then the test now i'm going to select this one you can see what I'm di I did now. I go back to make sure that I'm in the right place before I do the importation. Now, I'm going to drag it here because right now it's at the top. Then I'll go back again to check if there is any adjustment needed. Now I'm going to bring this image and position it here. Then change the color to red. So you can see what I did there, I apply a color to that letter because that letter is a key word. Learn. Then also I apply a letter to that because that letter has a point there. Work with what? Work with data. Learn your mission. What do you want to achieve? You see, so but we are not going to re go through most of all those things, but I want you to take note of those important letter if you are doing it. If you are asked to 
especially when you have a client and a client gives you a project of this kind of a work so and the clients are light that okay some some later should be highlighted with a color so so these are the way of doing it you highlight the key points word So we are almost getting to the end of it. And remember, if you should like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now because I'm going to do another one related to this next time. And it may be going to be sweeter than this one. So make sure you subscribe and comment if how do you see about this design then comment and tell me what are the area or what is your expectations in my next carousel design So we are at the end of it now so after this one what you do now is to go through it then do some adjustment or any area that needed to that needed to apply a color then we will do that before we go to the main one So now that I'm done with this one, what I will do now, I'm grouping it. Then this color, I'm trying to change to the color now to see what color is going to best. It will be best for the background. But I prefer white and I think I'm going for the white. If not pure white, it's going to be let it be of white make your comments under the comment sections and let me know which color do you think is more best for the background white or off white or is there any other color you prefer so let me know under the comment sections So I also use two body to optimize my YouTube channel. So if you have a YouTube channel and you are thinking of improving your channel by views and subscribers, so you will see the link under my description. Get it registered by clicking on that link, then it will direct you to where you can sign up and register for your two body if you are interested to order 
for any of my graphic design please check my father account below in the comment sections and make your order thank you so much i really appreciate all of you guys so now what i'm doing now is adjustment I think I believe that color um the test there need to be color because it's saying something about what focus so when you read the test it's about what focus so these are the key letters that I need to color so if you are doing something like this and your client asks you to apply a color to some key later so these are the way you do it but though your client will identify a kind of letter that needed to be colored so here now is your identity so when you are done like this then you may put your logo or so any type of identity you have so these are the way you will do it either your name or your phone number or uh, a barcode number a barcode so all those things these are the way of doing it by putting your identities on below or your website so these are the area where your website your social medias or your logo so any means of identity so this is the area where you will place them ctrl j to duplicate it so using the guideline to position all of them and remember if you are not yet subscribed and you are following please kindly do subscribe now so that you will not miss any of my content all right so i'm going to remove the arrow there because there is nothing to click or to swipe at the front again so i will remove the arrow there because that arrow symbol that yes you should go to next so here now i'm going to apply slide so when you apply slide then you right click then enter number here that is 10 how many page do you have i have 10 page so you enter then after you do that then you go to what export export as web so this is what you're going to do you're not going you will not apply normal export so when you go to export then you now use save as web then you select where to save it then you save it and if you don't understand this particular area please let me know under the comment section so that i will do another carousel and explain to you in details how to export it thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe like and share and i also suggest you should watch the next video thank you